Hello, Steve Fletcher here. Before we get started, can I ask you please to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube page and really help me grow my business. Also, if you've got time, head over to FletcherSteve.com where you'll find a multitude of resources constantly being updated to assist you with your day-to-day -day guitar playing needs. Today, we are taking a look at the Genesis Classic Afterglow. Um, this one was done it's kind of in the middle period. It's kind of a bit of a forgotten period of the band. Um, it's right slap bang in between the Gabriel leaving and Collins turning it into a pop band. <laughs> it's what I lovingly refer to as the Hackett era. It's the, right at the end of the Hackett era. Uh, my personal opinion is, well, it's different to everyone's on the internet, but my personal opinion is that um, Genesis was should be split not into Gabriel and Collins. It should be split into Hackett and everything else. So everything that happened when Hackett was in the band, for me, is... Um, is phenomenal. But I would think that. I'm a guitar player. Uh, there's a couple of weird little chord shapes to bear in mind. Um, this goes back to, you know, I mean, things like the E flats and the D flat are the ones that are going to drive you the most bonkers. And they go back to the idea of the bar chords that we don't often see. Um, for instance, bar chords that are based on the C chord shape. Um, so you've got the, the, the full version of E flat would be done like that. You know, we've got the fourth finger on the sixth fret of the fifth string. We've got the third finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. You've got your first finger doing a bar across the third fret of the first, second and third frets at uh, thir first second and third strings there and you've got your second finger getting the third at uh, the fourth fret of the second string if i got through all that correctly it'll be a miracle so that's the full way of doing that c bar chord shape to make an e flat chord there's the e flat there now it doesn't actually happen in full on this song um, all we actually get is the top four strings um, so you tend to see, and Hackett does this as well, you tend to see this little reshaping again um, to one, two, three, four. So you're kind of getting a D chord shape there. Um, so first finger, second finger, and third finger are the D chord shape. That's where the D chord would be, but it's on the, the third and fourth fret there. And then we're getting the fourth finger on the fifth fret fret of the fourth string to play uh, what is the G essentially so there's that um, and again something that drives people a bit whappy in the chorus is the it seems like every single bar has got a completely different picking pattern so that fourth finger is not always required so what we sometimes get is just this D chord shape um, which we get there, which for that E flat and, and for the D flat as well. So you just have to keep an eye out for it, really. Another way that people sometimes commonly do it um, is as if they were doing that C bar chord shape, but just without that fourth finger. So you get that bar, second finger, third finger, like that. So it's a little bit of a brain teaser. Now, if you'd like the tabs for this song, then they are available. All you need to do to get hold of them is everything that it says down there in the descriptions, okay? It will be lovely for you to comment. I love to hear from you guys, and um, I always try and reply as best I can. Um, but all been well. We shall see you next time. Bye-bye.